So, um, about my feelings towards this level, um, like a vast majority of the people who've probably played this game, um, there's really only one thing I hate about this level, and if you watched my first project, you have a pretty good idea of what that might be, and I've also kind of mentioned it a few times in this project as well. Just, you know, the small reference. But yeah, there is one golden banana in this level that is a pain to get. Thankfully, I don't have to get it during this run-through. I actually have to go to the next world and get a move before I can actually come back here and get that banana. So, I don't even have to worry about it getting right now. But, I already know that that banana is going to be hell for me to get. I mean, if you've watched my old project, you know it'll be hell for me to get. It's not a very pleasant game, so to speak. It's actually a race, but it's a very annoying race. Okay, so here we have Cranky Kong. Cranky does actually have a gift for us. Uh, make sure you say no at first, because he actually asks you to, if you want to play the uh, jetpack game again. Uh, whenever you enter Cranky's uh, lap, so say no to that first, and then he'll start offering you the moves. Anyways, the move for this world is actually a move that all the Kongs can use. It's an upgraded version of the Simeon Slam, called the Super Simeon Slam. Basically, it's a more powerful slam move that can now hit blue switches in addition to the green ones. They'll use a lot of blue switches in this level, so make sure you get that move as soon as possible. And with that, I think we're actually ready to enter the mushroom. What mushroom do you ask? Why, the humongous one right in front of us. Uh, this is kind of the common place for all the Kongs in this world. Every Kong has a banana in here or around here, so you're going to be spending a lot of time in here. Uh, first off, as you can see, there are all kinds of switches on this back wall. And you have to hit every single one of these switches with all the Kongs before you can actually do a few things in here. Which is not a major problem, but... You know, it can be kind of annoying, I guess. Um, is that a lanky balloon or a tiny balloon? Okay, I somehow lost the balloon. Never mind. I think it was a lanky one. I'll, I'll just find it later. Okay, can, can I... Oh, no, I can't even see it from there. Okay, I have to go up here to see that one. It's a shame I don't have a Funky's upgrade from the uh, final level of the game. Because that would make this part a lot easier. And yeah, that's a lanky balloon. Okay. Just making sure. And look, even more tiny bananas. Hooray. And yes, we will have to do, use tiny momentarily as well. I know that doesn't sit well with a lot of you guys, but... As I said before, they try to really overuse tiny in this game. I have no idea why. Okay, give me that, give me that balloon. Okay, now circle around. Oh, good, I'm going to have trouble getting this balloon now. Oh, come on! Okay, let's get a better angle so I can actually hit this. I didn't like that angle I had. This angle's not doing me much better, though. Okay, come on! I'm not going to spend forever doing this. Okay, there we go. And we just have one more switch to get with the awesome red hat, red shirt Kong, Diddy Kong. And when you do that, you actually create some barrel cannons that actually take you up to the very top of the mushroom. So I guess you could use that kind of as a shortcut if you really need to. But right off the bat, we have a gold banana we can get with Donkey Kong using those barrel cannons. Because over here, we have a Donkey Kong switch. When you hit the switch, a gold banana will appear at the very top of the mushroom. Conveniently, where the barrel cannon will take you, so... 
All you gotta do is just jump in the barrel cannon, you'll be shot up there. You'll get a bunch of banana bunches while you're, you know, shooting yourself to the very top. And there we go. We already got Donkey Kong's first banana. And now we're gonna do something very, well, not really stupid, but actually I'm not gonna do it, never mind. I didn't really notice there was a tag barrel up here. Okay, is that another blue balloon? Yes, it is. Okay, come on. Aw, oh, damn it. Okay. There we go. Okay, that wasn't too bad. Okay, let's get out Chunky Kong. Uh, Chunky Kong actually has a lot of his normal bananas in the mushroom. And they, and they kind of lead up to the very top, if you couldn't tell while we were shooting ourselves out of the cannon. But yeah, he has, like, all these, you know, just random bananas leading up the pathway of the mushroom. So one thing you could do is you could go to the very top and, you know, just take take Chunky downward to get all those bananas. Or you could, you know, just go up there upwards, but, you know, going down could be a bit more fun than going up. And I believe Diddy Kong... Okay, no, not, not here. Uh, Diddy Kong does have a splat that's inside the mushroom. We'll probably see that momentarily. And if there's a tag barrel, I can actually get that right now. Can't do anything over there because you need, it needs to be night before you can get that. And I fell down. Oh, I didn't fall down too far. And the ladder was just right here. So I'll just grab this very quickly. And yeah, as I was saying earlier, uh, Diddy has a Kasplat right there, so we can come back up there later to get that if we want. I'm going to keep going down the mushroom, though. If I can find where the ladder is... Okay, no, it's over here. Okay, no, I just fell to the very bottom. Never mind. Oh, well, we also have a tiny switch at the very bottom, so I'll go ahead and get that. And that makes a banana barrel appear up the mushroom. Not too far up the mushroom. You don't need the cannon to get it. In fact, if you actually go inside the cannon, you probably wouldn't even make it because I believe the barrel is just right over here. Okay, now I have to go up the ladder one more time. Not a problem. Not a problem at all. Okay, yeah, it's over here. Make your way over the barrel, and I believe this is a uh, speedy spink swing sorty. Yep. Welcome to bonus stage. Hooray for memorizing the mini games. Okay, so this is a swinging mini game. Basically, like all the other swinging mini games. Okay, I have no idea what I did right there. I'm gonna go back this way because this is, I think, where you're supposed to start. You also have to use your uh, ponytail twirl to actually move around this course, which is kind of cool. And I missed that coin. Okay, I'm probably gonna fail this now that I think about it. Well, maybe not. I don't know. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna fail this. Okay, let's try this again and actually do this the right way. I kind of did it the wrong way. You're supposed to go over to that tree in the background. You're not supposed to climb the middle tree. Because I think that middle tree is actually where you're supposed to end the minigame. And you can't really do things in backwards order in this course. But yeah, I like the uh, first minigame variation of this. This is a pretty linear game. You don't have to do very much, you know, wandering around. As long as you stick to the course and not fall off the trees, you should get this. Just like that. Uh, okay, we got that done with Tiny. Uh, Tiny actually has a special job, big surprise in this world. Uh, she actually has a mini-boss fight. 
And there aren't very many mini-boss fights in the entire game. I believe there are only two. Uh, the one in Frantic Factory and then the one in this world. So yes, once again, Tiny gets some special treatment in this game for some reason. I mean, it's kind of obvious what the reason is. It's because of the whole mini monkey thing and the wide variety of different possibilities you can use with it. But still, I mean, they almost really overuse it in this game. And I just fell off. And I'm getting a lot of normal bun bananas with Chunky, I've noticed. I'm almost, I almost have his banana metal, actually. And I don't believe there's anything over here. Okay, now, wait, let me make sure. No, that's where the banana barrel was, okay. Never mind, let's go this way. And when you get to this point, you'll find a door to the outside. And outside here, there's actually a few things you can do. For one, there's uh, Tiny's Kasplat. I'll get that later. Once I find a tag barrel, anyways. I believe there's one just up here, though. And there's also a Donkey Kong pad, too. So I'll go ahead and do that while I'm here. Hooray for barrel blasting courses. I do love how they put one in every single level, though. If I remember correctly, this one isn't very hard. There aren't very many branching paths. If there are any at all, actually. This one's kind of a blind shot, and I missed it for some reason. So let's try this again. But yeah, there aren't any uh, branching paths, so this is a pretty linear course. Unlike the Gloomy Galleon one, which was kind of a cluster fudge of going around in a giant circle. Okay, good, I actually got it that time. Okay, wait, maybe there is a branching path. This is going to be very annoying. Okay, we got this. And it's a bonus barrel. Welcome to bonus and day. didn't we just play this game? <laughs> Maybe not in this video. It was actually probably two videos ago at this point. But yeah, we didn't play this too long ago. And if you actually couldn't notice, um, if you actually didn't notice, I mean... Um, you actually have a lower number to save in this one than you did in the one in the overworld. You only have 8 to save, and the last time we played this we had 10 to save, so... Uh, technically in the overworld, uh, the minigames are supposed to be harder. In that the numbers get higher. For these types of minigames. Just kind of an interesting fact, I guess. And hooray, we saved all the fairies. Except the ones that, you know, tried to go through after I actually won the minigame. That would have sucked if we had to actually go through that course again just to get that banana. Thankfully they were a little generous with that. And I don't think there's anything up here, but I'm going to check just to make sure. Just to save me some time in the long run. Okay, yeah, I'm good. Next, I'm going to go down here and collect all those bananas that are kind of around this little platform. And I'm actually making some very good progress in this level. So far, anyways. I mean, I haven't done that much. It's still, for, for what I have done, it's quite a bit.
I think this definitely proves that it's always better to, you know, stick to one area at a time when you're trying to get all the gold bananas because then you'll kind of, you know, mess yourself up and you'll forget about what you need to do in some of the other areas and it's just kind of a major inconvenience for you.